Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video I will show you a game between Sergei Karyakin and Vladimir Fedosev. This is a game from the FIDE World Cup 2021. Karyakin had white pieces and he started with e4. Fedosev played e5, knight to f3, knight to c6, bishop to b5. The Spanish game asking a question, bishop to a4. Knight to f6, castling, bishop to e7, rook to e1, b5. If castling, then bishop takes knight, and after d takes on c6, knight takes pawn on e5. Back to our game, Fedosev played b5, bishop to b3, d6, c3, castling, h3, controlling g4 square, bishop to b7, d4, Rook to e8, knight from b to d2, bishop to f8, a3, h6, bishop to c2, d5, d takes on e5, knight takes on e5, knight takes knight, rook takes knight, knight to f3, attacking the rook, rook to e8, e5, knight to e4. 17 moves have been played, and it is about equal. Bishop to f4, c5. If bishop to c5, then knight to d4. c5, a4, f5, h4, bishop to e7, h5, rook to f8, a takes on b5, a takes on b5, rook takes rook, bishop takes rook. It would be no surprise if all the moves played up to this point were a home preparation. Why to move? What would you do? Karyakin played e6. And this little move is quite strong. Let's see why. Rook to e8, knight to e5. That was the idea. The knight is on the way to g6. Bishop to g5, knight to g6 d4. Let's take it back. What's wrong with taking the pawn with the rook? If rook takes on e6, one line goes like this. Bishop takes bishop, queen takes bishop, f3, queen takes on h5, knight to f4, queen to h4, bishop takes knight, f takes on e4, knight takes rook and white stands better. Back to our game. That is why Fedosev played d4. c takes on d4, black to move. This happened to be the critical position of the game. In this position, Fedosev played this cool looking move. Knight takes on f2, sacrificing the knight. And there is an idea behind this sacrifice. Let's see what happened. King takes on f2. What else? Bishop takes on f4. Knight takes on f4. Queen to h4. Check. White has the choice. King to g1 or g3. What would you play? Karyakin played king to g1. If g3, then black can force a draw with check, and after king to f1, another check, after king to e2, check, and white is advised to play king to f1, and that would end in a draw. Well, king to d3 is not good because of queen takes on g3, check and black wins. Back to our game. King to g1 was played. Queen takes knight. The material is equal, but white stands better. Why? Karyakin played d5. White simply stands better. Queen to g3. So if d6, queen takes on g2, checkmate. Rook to e2, queen to g5, white played the move and black resigned. And the move is queen to d2, Fedosev resigned. 
for the entertainment purpose i will show you one line queen takes queen rook takes queen and the two center pawns are equals to easy win for white if g5 h takes on g6 and pass on king to g6 d6 black can play bishop to c6 or rook takes pawn on e6 both are losing let's play rook takes on e6 then d7 and the pawn can't be stopped if bishop to c6 then d7 bishop takes on d7 e takes on d7 rook to d8 bishop takes on f5 king to f6 rook to e2 king takes bishop g7 king to f6 rook to e8 rook takes pawn on d7 everything else is losing too pawn to g8 queen and i guess we can stop here and let's go back to this critical position this is the position sadly for Fedosiv, the king hunt didn't work what do you think of this game and that is all i hope that you enjoyed watching this video i wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now